to my shipping empire. This is me. I have completed two mini events so far. This is why I didn't post anything from levels 11 to, to wherever I am right now. Right now I am at level 20. Obviously, I had to complete some of the jobs for the mini events and for some of the some of the main story here. It offers me to get a, a new building. most of the ships on my first map which is the San Francisco Bay Area um, some of the jobs for which I was able to get some reward during the mini events was to open the shipping container that's why I have some of the ships um, not expanded just yet might come handy, they might come useful later in the game, so I think I'm going to do it. Now, on my second map, basically what I do, um, every day I collect the daily ship, the freebies, the money every four hours, the parts, and this is what I managed to collect. What I spend is basically every day I expand the majority of my ships by one. So tomorrow, the Wilhelm, the Grosser, the Makoma, the Rainbow Warrior, the first four raid. Yeah, pretty much first ten ships that I have on that map. I'll be expanding. Now I'm gonna have to wait for a bit more luck because I don't have any any of the what are they called? The legendary. I don't have any of the golden or yellow ships on this map just yet. get a bit of luck and I will get some so tomorrow and over the next two maybe three weeks I'll be expanding some of these ships one by one until I reach the maximum capacity hopefully I will get some of the yellow or golden the legendary ones um, I have over here I have the option opened take some surveys to earn, to earn the green gems. Now some of these gems I have already spent to increase the number of slots in the production factories. So I've increased this one to four and I believe I have all of them expanded to four. Yes, I have all of them expanded to four. Now the train keeps getting, keeps visiting my port. I've already completed today's job. And this is to get the maps. Now I've decided to participate in two mini events for one simple reason. Um, one of the rewards 
during these events were the city plans. Now learning my lesson from the train station to getting the blue ones is always a challenge. The yellow ones, the red ones, they always come along. Sometimes more of them, sometimes less. Um, they are not that often required yellow and the red ones compared to the blue plants. So basically I have 155 blue plants right now. This will hopefully allow me to keep expanding the city population which in turn will allow me to expand my warehouse and this is the main thing that I'm going to need. The city it looks nice but it's the important element to the warehouse, it's the warehouse that you really need. Now for the expansion of your buildings for upgrades, um, just using the materials is the most preferred option. See this plan, well, uh, sorry, this, this building will require just some materials and only six blue plans, so that's manageable. This one would require just iron ore and a yellow plan. And this one I can expand already. So let's get the ship sent to get some iron ore. This is coming really quick. Here they come. There's one of them. That's a really neat feature of that game. Train station, so you can follow the train. Over here you can follow a ship. And for a mobile game, that's an amazing, amazing feature. Plus I think the music over here is way better. It's much more pleasant than the music in the train station. But that's just my opinion. If you agree, please leave a comment. Meaningful, sensible comments are always appreciated. And I guess I'll see you next time I'm going to post something showing you the progress of my maps. This is my San Francisco Bay Area. This is my 63% completed Rotterdam Bay Area. There's quite a lot of construction going on still. Let's bring some more materials. too quick just to get a, a bit better result in the next mini games or any competitions so I shall speak to you next time I'm posting a video from any of those games bye bye now